It's a system set up to punish the victims. That's according to advocates as well as city and state lawmakers who say too often victims of sex trafficking are treated as criminals with a life sentence. Now your side's Maggie Vespa joins us live in the newsroom with more on how they plan to change that. Maggie. Stella, we're talking about a would-be law that would allow many convicted of trading sex for money, a felony, to get their records wiped clean. The reason? Advocates say a vast majority of those cases that trade wasn't made by choice. I don't want to tell people for the rest of my life that I was trafficked 30 years ago. Despite that, Beth Jacobs has gotten used to telling her story. I was told I was going to a party and there was no party. They just tried to bring me to another city. Her time trapped in the world of trafficked victims and violent pimps who beat her when she didn't work lasted through six years and several arrests. Jacobs escaped when she was 22 and got help. Later, she also got a degree and a career in social work. Fast forward 30 years, Jacobs lands a job with the state of Arizona but is fired. A month in. And they said because I did not disclose. And they're right, I didn't disclose because it was 30 years ago. Jacobs knows she's far from alone. Now an advocate for victims, she is teaming up with city and state leaders to pass a law aimed at allowing the trafficked to take their lives back with the help of a judge. What this bill will do is allow someone who has had charges from being trafficked as a minor. Vacated. Young girls and young boys also are, are pulled into this. There's physical, chemical, and psychological exploitation going on, and they are truly victims in the true sense of the word. Now, there is also the question of clearing records of adults who have been trafficked, and Representative Victoria Steele says that is also being considered. If this yet-to-be-crafted law passes, Arizona would join 16 other states with similar ones already in place. Lawmakers hope to introduce this in Phoenix in January. For now, live in the newsroom, I'm Maggie Vespa, KGON 9, on your side.